today we'll draw another section uh, through uh, this as a pastor and through the some joinery part. So last time actually we drew sections through this side, more east and west side. So today is probably north and south section. So you can choose any location here, there, doesn't matter because what I cutting through, I want to cut through the window area. And also, um, we'll probably go through together how to do the sections so the other size. This is a section we drawn before. Um, obviously, this is really important a section drawing. So, so um, let's just start. I indicated to the section line uh, through the bus and then corridor and then joinery area. So you can see actually this uh, section mark is there. Okay. So we'll start from there. So I'll take, take it out. <coughs> I have a set of plan um, rotated different directions. Um, the, here is the line. Here is a line actually cutting through a section. I uh, hope you can see. Obviously, you just draw down actually. Okay. So and then, <coughs> so what I do? I just draw down. Just indicate it. All the line. We already got all the information is there. I'll just copy them. So we got all the thickness and then the location of the the joinery part, I'll just draw down, just for my understanding, so you can do the same thing. Okay, so I know actually how to, um, the layout, all the width and the wall thickness is already draw down. Okay, so what we do, <coughs> I'll use another piece of paper on the top. I'll draw. Okay. And then before, we already got this uh, floor plan, uh, no, no, section through east and west. So what we're doing, um, when you cut out actually this uh, section, obviously um, it looks like this side, isn't it? Okay, exactly like that. Okay, so I measured them from this wall end to there. Okay, so what I did actually, I marked up on the drawing. Okay, so, so that is a line. So what I do, <coughs> so because the reason actually I'm drawing line, because the roof is angle. Okay, roof is falling this side. So if we cut through there, so because I'm looking this direction, so I will see that actually the roof end too. So it's quite important if you cut through section there, then I will just measure over there. So then you know exactly where is the roof, and then you will see the elevation view of a actual roof panels will be happening there. Okay. So once you're done, so I will just setting up. So this is a piece of paper we already uh, drawn. I will just yeah, just reference here. Yeah. Okay, just quickly. Because all the information is already there. I will just transfer this information to other drawings. So it looks complicated, but 
you know, all these little sort of lines. If you have another piece of paper on that, then you will see what's happening here. So I will just cut the these lines, what I drew before. Copy the line, this is on the top. Copy the line. This is a brown line. You can measure them too as well. Okay. And then I copy the to the bus. Okay. I, I copy this is bus too. So I got all the reference point is there too. Okay, so when you and also the thickness of floor, I already got information there, and also um, <clears throat> the floor joist channel will be there too. So you just write down so you only know. And also beam size, we already know the actual the beam size. Yeah? So it's a beam. But it, this way actually you can save a lot of times. And also we already uh, locate the, um, the other root beams too. So I will just um, draw it here. Okay, so the line is a little pale, but <clears throat> you will see actually a bit later. When you draw it, it will be much clearer for you. So once you got all the information is there, then you don't need to keep these drawings. I'll just indicate where all the lines are, because I'm gonna take it out these drawings. Okay, and then I'll show the window height. Okay, so there's the window. Okay, that's good. So then I'll take it out. Put things there too. Okay. Good. So now <coughs> start drawing, and also um, I just the um, the roof when it cut through. So good to give indication. I think it requires for it. So this is the roof. This. All the information is there. So, I'll just press side. So, now we got a white paper. I don't think you'll see the line, but what I do, I'll just a thick line first, then you can see it. This is a ground line. This is going to be top of the roof. Okay. And here is a mesh floor. And then a different color so you can see it. This is a roof. Let me draw. You want to draw, you, you, you probably go draw by pencil but just the um, just for demonstration so I'm drawing your my pen so you will draw by pencil. Okay, that's the same area. <coughs> Okay, so you got all the information is there. Then what we do, we try to locate actually the beam locations. Okay, the floor beam and also the roof beam. So then 
nothing will be quite good. So, okay. so last time we discussed all wall techniques, but we already got this information though, before. So if we look at actually on the top, all the information is already there. Okay. So what I did. So what you do with all this information, just transfer down. Okay, so then you probably several times too. So let's um well, I'm trying to locate them at the one of the beam or post column locations. Okay, so this is a thickness. <clears throat> and then good so this will be good this is good too so the road information is there okay so the next I try to uh, position um, the floor beam, but when you look at that, actually our okay, this structure drawing. So I'm cutting through a uh, this side. I don't know if you can see it. Now I'm cutting through this side, looking this way. Okay, so I need to know what is a GB one. Okay, the size, GB1, I worked it out before, so over there, GB1, um, <coughs> GB1, 310 UB, so I already worked out the size, okay, so you already got, I'm, I'm pretty sure you already got size too. And also, this will cut through the root beam too, okay, RB1, RB1, so we're cutting through there, so if we know this whole location, Okay, and then size, then just matter of to transfer those information uh, on the uh, sections. Let's draw. This is floor finish level. And then what I have here, um, uh, this is the um, a structure board. Okay. And also below this line is a floor joist. Okay, so I need to actually draw them. Okay, so need to draw the floor joist. At the same time, the location of the a uh, uh, GB1. So GB1 size, we already got it. GB1 is a, a 149 by 298. Okay, so I'll just um, use this information. So 149. When you draw it, become 150. So there is a, there is a size. But I will draw a bit darker. Two ninety, almost three hundred. So there is a size. I will work it out. So what I do, I will just draw. <coughs> So it happened the other side too. So when I draw in, I will just draw this side. Too. Okay, just
so uh, hopefully you can see him so I nominate picture 2 um, the flow beam and I need to know uh, the location of the um, the root beam so, okay, so I already indicated picture before from the section Look at the size. Um, loop pin RB1. Okay, RB1. Um, already got size 133 by 202. That's high. Okay, so I'll copy them. 133. 133. So, so we already got it. Actually, this is a flow beam. Okay, so this is a root beam. Okay, so whatever outside will be cladding. So inside, and then this will be loop space. Okay, so we're cutting through the roof. The roof will be happening actually over, uh, above the actual this beam area. So let's have a look. So I'll just draw um, what is good idea. <coughs> um, the column locations. Okay, so that's not quite useful. That's the last one I draw. As a blue a dash line here, so if I draw there, then probably easy to understand the way the column location will be. Okay. So, <clears throat> so when you look at actually drawing a uh, below, I don't know if you can see it. They marked the picture before, so I'll just copy and then draw down. Then we'll see whether uh, this column location is okay. So, what I do is blue color, and just mark it first. Just show dot line in. So there will be the post. Okay.
So this is a column. Again, so I will just um, add actually a footing under. So footing last time was 800 by 800. So from the center, I will just add information. Okay, so. So that is actually the footing, but you can't see it. it's further beyond. Just I'm drawing for your understanding. Okay. So the reason showing dash line is you are not cutting through the actual this footing. So, but it is beyond. So that's the reason. Now you can see, okay, to footing, column is there, the beam is actually projecting in this direction, so, okay. So what I do, I will just draw it, what is a beam, the other part, so then we know um, <coughs> how to draw it, because we already got these informations before, okay. So when you match them, then you will see, um, where the location is a beam. Okay, I already drawn there, so I'll just copy this information. Okay. So I already drawn there, yeah? Okay. 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 Okay, now you can see different color. Uh, we said the red one is actually projected in this direction. Okay, the column, and then from the further beyond. Yeah? So that is actually the a, the floor beam and the roof beam location is. So what we're doing. So this is basic structural information. So now we add all the information inside. So I already figured out the joinery. Okay, so and then the corridor width and then bars. So it's just a matter of actually um, put information over here. So that will be good. So there is a floor finish line. Okay, the red color. So we already got <coughs> all the information is there. So we we'll just transform to actually these drawings. Okay, so we talk about all the finishes, wasn't it? The tiles, the waterproofing membranes, and also a cement sheet. At the same time, I've got a 22 mil a structural board is required. Okay, so we already count all thickness. I'll just transfer that so there is a thickness. Okay.
At the same time, I have to place a good location. Okay, so good location. When you look at this joint, so all the good location is there. Called G1. Okay, so so this information I want to put it actually the side wall. So good is actually um, G1. G1 is about a 1.2 meter max. Okay, so when you look at this, so you will see um, the information. Okay, so G1, okay, 1.2 meter centers. So you only got this information. Okay. 